Well, hello again and uh, welcome <coughs> to my channel. Now the village where I live is over a thousand years old and I thought it might be a good idea for us to take a walk around and have a look at some of the features in the village. Now I have to warn you that three quarters of the way around you're going to come in for a big surprise. So I'm warning you now. Anyway, let's start our walk. This is the old manor house in the village. It's now been made into three different houses. This cottage is where the butler to the manor house used to live. Now these <coughs> are now houses but they were the stables of the manor house and of course the grooms and used to live all above here and the horses were all down below but they've all been converted into these rather attractive houses now. The little river runs right through our village and this is a very ancient bridge and there's the River Gouache, which is another view. Back in the uh, 19th century, there was a water mill here. It's now long gone. And this is how it looked. Here's the river which runs right through to a big reservoir called Rutland Water. And this house belonged to the wealthy landowners of Braunston in the 15th, 16th and 17th century. It's absolutely beautiful. And as we move from chapter farmhouse you see the village hall which is full of activities dancing we have bowls uh, table tennis all sorts of activities take place it's donated by the lady that once owned the manor house this is the village church which was built in the uh, 12th century first one and it's been gradually built up over the years but it's very very old Got a rather peculiar tower. This is the blue ball. local local public house one of two in the village this is called Cedar Street 
And this magnificent tree is the one that the road is named after, cedar. There's a lot of very old houses in this village. That's one of them. Thatched cottage is where the blacksmith used to shoe all the horses in the village and that little place was once the village school. And this is an old telephone box which the village decided to keep. It's no longer in use. But let's explore. Right, let's go in. The time machine had whisked us back to one of my favourite walks of all, a Tuscany in 1998. My wife Sandy and I uh, joined a, a group of eight people and we walked from Volterra to Siena in five days and when we got to Siena a huge surprise awaited us. The Palio's in town and we are right in the middle of it. The great and the good of Siena a drawn in a car by two magnificent white oxen. And behind them come the Siena Guard in their jazzy red pipes. a relief back in 2020 but who would have thought that a little old village like Braunston would have its very own time machine well we'll finish the rest of the tour of the village after that adventure these are some of the older houses in the village. Um, this is the second public house called the Old Plough. It's not open at the moment. And these old houses are the former farm labourers' cottages, which have now been done up and a very nice little residences indeed. Well I hope you enjoyed that walk. I certainly did and I look forward to you joining me again very soon. Bye!